Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Excel and how to freeze rows and columns um, and also how to freeze rows and columns simultaneously. Um, so if you find this video useful please click the like button, hit subscribe, tap that bell, it helps the channel out massively and with that said let's jump on over to our document. Right so here I have an example um, with a column full of dates and a um, multiple columns full of salespeople. And in the middle here, we have all of the various um, sales data. So as I scroll down this document, all of a sudden I start to lose track um, from where each particular salesperson actually sits. So I no longer know which part of this data actually uh, relates to whom. Um, so what I need to do is actually freeze this first row, this column um, headers, in place as I scroll down the document. It's quite easy to do so the first thing that we're going to do is actually head over to the ribbon here, um, go over to the view tab and then you'll find a section called freeze panes. Click this and you'll get an op three different options um, appear. There's the freeze panes, freeze top row and freeze first column. So what we're going to do is actually freeze the top row. Give that a click and now as we scroll down those top rows, um, that top row has finally been fixed in place and I can see where each particular salesperson um, sits by date. Now there's one thing to note here if I just give that an unfreeze quickly. Um, if I scroll down a little way like this um, and I go ahead and go try to freeze the first row, all of a sudden I've not freeze the very first row in the document, I've actually freezed the first row that was visible um, to me within the document. So that's one thing to just bear in mind um, when you use the freeze rows, it's only going to freeze the row that is visible, the very first row that is visible to you um, using the document. So um, just bear that in mind, you, if you want to freeze row one, make sure row one is the first row that you see and then freeze the uh, top row. Okay, so if, um, for example, row two was the new, uh, row four here, for example, was the very first row visible to me, and I tried to freeze the top row, it's going to freeze row four, I can't scroll back up any higher, um, so I'd have to unfreeze panes, scroll to the top, and then freeze the top row. And now I can scroll down and see the column headings in my data. Um, right, so the next thing on the list is to talk about how to freeze columns. So in this particular data set, if I scroll right, um, you'll notice that I lose track of the dates that all this data relates to. So I can see the salespeople, but I can't see which date um, each particular sales actually achieved. So I need to freeze column A in place as I scroll right. So in order to do that, we head back over to the view tab and freeze panes and then we look for the freeze first column. Give that a click and now as I scroll right I have those dates in column A fixed in place, um, no problem. The same concept here applies, so if I just unfreeze those panes and made column B the first column that was visible and then I go and freeze the uh, first column, now I can't get back to column A it's not visible there and column B is the one that's fixed in place. Um, so these are some of the common errors um, that you see people doing and it's terribly useful just to understand how these functions work. It's only going to give you what you're currently seeing uh, on the screen. So you need to make sure that column A is the first column and then select that to be frozen and therefore the dates are now fixed. Unfortunately when you select to freeze the columns you'll knock out the freezing of rows. So now my rows are no longer fixed in place, um, just my column. And likewise, if I go to freeze the top row, it will knock out the columns being frozen. So those particular functions, both the freeze top row and freeze um, first column, they work independently of each other. Um, and you can't cross over. So you can't have the top row frozen and the first column frozen. Um, not from these particular functions anyway. You can, however, use the other option here, which is the freeze panes option. So if I freeze top row, for example, this section here says unfreeze panes. So first thing to do is actually to unfreeze all panes, make your document completely flexible um, to be frozen again. And, and then from this option here, it'll actually change to becoming a freeze panes option. And the freeze pane option lets you um, lock both the rows and the columns um, in place. And to use this function, the cell that you have selected is 
really important. So for example, if I want to freeze the um, row 1 and column A, I would need to select B2. And the reason for that is whatever cell you have selected, that particular function of freeze panes will freeze whatever is above it and whatever is to the left of your selection. So whatever you cell you've selected, you'll freeze the um, rows above it and the columns to the left of it. Okay, so if I were to select E9, I would have frozen everything in from here this way, right? So for if I just run that as an example, with E9 selected, head over to the view tab and freeze panes. Now I scroll down, we can see that row 8 has been fixed because it was above row 9 and column D has been fixed because column D was to the left of column E. Okay, um, so if I just unfreeze that, in my example here, what I would like to do is actually freeze the color, uh, sorry, row 1 and column A. So if I select B2, I will freeze everything above B2. So it will freeze the rows above um, the selection of row 2. So that has to become row 1. And it will also freeze immediately to the left of my selection of B2. So that becomes row, uh, sorry, column A. Okay, so with B2 selected, head over to the view tab click on the freeze panes and then click on the freeze panes selection. Now as I scroll down I have my headers fixed in place and if I scroll to the right I have my columns fixed in place. Um, and that is it guys, it's uh, super easy once you understand how those particular functions are working. Um, if you find this useful please click the like button, hit subscribe, um, hit the bell, it really does help the channel out massively um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.